Lays. Bet you can't eat just one. Wavy Lays presents Look Who's Making Waves. Michael Irvin, this Dallas Cowboy is big news. Check it out. When I was seven, people told me I was too small to play football. Last I checked, I'm wearing a big Super Bowl ring. I drive a big car and have a big house. Welcome to my house. I bought my big family a big TV so they can all see my nice big smile. So if anybody tells you you're too small, tell them Michael says, think big. Excuse me, could you tell me how to get to Bakersville? Sure. Take 23 north to M34 east to I-14 south, and you're there. Thanks. You bet. Excuse me, can you tell me how to get to Bakersville? Get right over those mountains. Thanks. Cody loves older women. <laughs> Good morning, then, is to going to Atlanta, huh? <laughs> Side of the Super Bowl. Well, first things first for them, they'll be here a week from Saturday. If Detroit beats Green Bay, the 49ers will face the Lions. If Green Bay wins that game, then the 49ers play the winner of the Viking Giant game. Third and five after the timeout. Bono throws, and Jerry Rice is there for a sixth catch, a number 98 for the season, and a first down. Bono fired one in there about ankle high, and Jerry went down and dug it out. Well, you can just go on with all the superlatives about Jerry Rice, and the thing that we haven't talked about is his work ethic. I know, Dan, in a previous game we had with him, you talked about it, but this guy is out on the field before anyone else, stays out after they've gone in, works by himself. He's an incredible athlete. Complacency is uh, not his vocabulary. First and ten. Bono. Okay, Brent. And there's Brent Jones, the tight end, taking it to the 35-yard line, very close to a first down. Andy Harmon running Steve Bono into the sidelines. But again, any time a quarterback's in trouble like this, he needs help. And that's a nice piece of improvisation by both players. Bono staying alive, moving outside, but Brent Jones breaking off his pattern, coming all the way across the field, and then heading in the opposite direction to make himself a target. The first down of the 35-yard line, Mark Logan is in the game. He and Dexter Carter in the backfield. Everybody goes into the pass pattern, and the pass is underthrown, intended for Jerry Rice. Covered by Ben Smith, second and ten. John Taylor is getting a little breather for the 49ers as we look at Rice against Ben Smith. Bono threw it low. Ben Smith, not exactly sure where he was on that, but he knew he was in trouble. But Nate Singleton is in there for John Taylor. Guys, here comes hypothetical question number one. I know Jerry Rice would like to have 100 catches, but at this point in the ballgame, with the playoffs ahead, I'm, I'm not so sure I'd have him in there. Mm -hmm. Second down and ten. And Rice juggles, and that's one of the yeah. reasons uh, why that's you're it. not sure you'd have him in there. No, right there. I'd, I'd, I'd take him out. I, I just don't think that the gain is worth is worth the risk. Well, uh, you might have just got the answer right here. Yeah, I, I just don't, I don't see where there's that much to be gained by his getting 100 receptions. There is a uh, there is a bigger picture here for the Sanjay Beach came in, but he just came in as an yep. extra wide receiver, and Rice to stay on at third and ten. In terms of a quest for a Super Bowl, a couple more receptions during the regular season for Rice is relatively insignificant. Third down and ten, and this time the catch was made by Nate Singleton. About uh, four yards shy of the first down. Well, the overview is why 
Seifert took Young out of tonight's game when he did and why he took Young out of the Houston game when he did. I think there's no question they'll go for the field goal. They need to, they're going to need to score twice. They're going to need a three. To have such a thing as a fake in their repertoire probably wouldn't be out of the question. Bono will hold, so he's a good guy to fake it with. And more than that, attempt a 47-yard field goal. If in fact he does attempt it, and he does, but it's no good. Tough crowd. <laughs> Real tough. Them or us. This is the Eagle Vision TSI with an 11 speaker spatial imaging sound system, solar control windshield, even driver and front passenger airbags. Eagle Vision is the result of asking people what they wanted in a sports sedan. That's why we also included a 24 valve, 214 horsepower engine, as well as anti lock brakes. Those of you who asked for a simulated wood grain dashboard, we've got bad news for you. It began as a friendly game. And it took on a life of its own. Changing the way you look at football and beer. But if you think you've seen everything, just wait. You haven't. Grab a ticket wherever you buy Budweiser, Bud Light, and Bud Dry. You could win a million dollars. Bud Bowl 6. It's gonna blow you away. They come every year before the big game. The Clem Brothers. Clem Brothers. Super Bucket. Fifteen pieces of original recipe or extra tasty crispy? Original extra recipe! Crispy. Rattle ya! But they can never choose between original recipe with 11 herbs and spices or extra tasty crispy marinated and extra crunchy. Get both. Both? And fifteen piece Super Buckets are just $9.99 each. We do chicken right after you. After you. After you. After you. After you. 1993's big winners tee it up at the first golf showdown of the new year. It's the final round of the Mercedes Championship, Sunday on ABC Sports. Home of the world champions. They won four titles, hopeful of a fifth. Candlestick Park in San Francisco, 9.49 left. Fourth quarter, 34-24. <laughs> Eagles on top. Should have left it down. Bobby Brister takes over at the 29-yard line after the missed field goal by Coker. And Herschel Walker gets tackled by Mike Walker at the 30. How about that performance yesterday by, by Emmett Smith? Amazing. He ends, he ends up being the uh, NFL rushing leader, missing the first two games of the season, then has to get into shape and, and everything else. And you know, I've had a partially uh, separated shoulder oh. myself. I, I honestly don't know how he could, no. could handle the pain of it. No, yeah, what a great performance against a really great showing on the part of that Giants team also to take him into overtime. Second down and eight at the 31-yard line. And Brister has it intercepted by Don Griffin. It's the first interception that Brister has thrown in a while. Griffin's pick no, gives the 49ers the ball back. It's fifth of the season. Tom O'Keefe is in the grip of a really tough cold. But he's about to break free with an effervescent rush of relief. Alka-Seltzer Plus cold medicine. Pills take time to dissolve, but Alka-Seltzer Plus is ready the moment you take it. Rushing powerful medicines to soothe your aches. Relieve your runny nose. Free your breathing. Nothing rushes relief like Alka-Seltzer Plus. From the people who invented the minivan comes the minivan celebration of the decade. Savings on our safest minivans ever. Get $500 cash back on Plymouth Voyager, Grand Voyager, Chrysler Town & Country, or lease Plymouth Voyager for this amazingly affordable lease rate. Save with a lease. Save with $500 cash back during the 10th anniversary celebration. Only at your Chrysler Plymouth dealers. 
For Green Bay, it's a matter of revenge. For Detroit, there's no place like Dome. Our rivals collide in game two of our doubleheader Saturday on ABC. Bobby Brister just throwing uh, his fifth interception of the season. And the 49ers take over at the Philadelphia 42-yard line. Bobby's right up there with the NFL leaders as far as interceptions per attempts. They've been on a pretty good run. Good pickup for them. Brister uh, coming over when Jim McMahon chose to uh, sign with Minnesota. It was Bubby when he when he came off after that interception. Hmm. Don't tell uh, don't tell Bubby this game doesn't mean anything. He's going to back the pass. Mark Logan makes the pass. Takes it to the 34-yard line. Logan, uh, Logan, who filled in very admirably for Tom Rathman for half the season when Rathman went out with that uh, shoulder separation. Did a very nice job. He did a super job. Former Cincinnati Bengal and Miami Dolphin, and it's a good thing they had him around. Rice is on the bench, so uh, your words, Dan, were uh, well heeded by George Seifert and company, and he'll most likely finish the year with 98 receptions. Yeah. Second and two at the 34-yard line. Next to Carter. Slayton takes it to the 31. I like to watch Jerry Rice play at any time, anywhere, but there are, running the risk of winning the cliche award, bigger fish to fry for the 49ers than getting Jerry Rice for his, uh, getting him his 100 receptions. He just won that award. Thank you very much. It's too late for that. Top well observation. <laughs> You or me. <laughs> First down for the 49ers at the 31 yard line. Knocked down. Joiner. Joiner. Joiner got that one. Again off the corner. Set Joiner. One of the best around. We have five touchdowns on interceptions and fumble returns. Superb athlete. I've had him in the Superstars. Dan and I were talking earlier about Herschel Walker. I've had Seth Joyner. He won the weightlifting, and he's not much of a weightlifter. A lot of speed. And of course, it's going to be interesting as we pointed out to see what happens with him next year. Both he and Simmons, uh, I don't think, had the kinds of year that they did in the past with Reggie White, but nevertheless, they are quality players. Deflected again. I found Andy Harmon got a hand on it. I think the fridge just stepped on the football. Might be time for a new one. <laughs> you tell me about that stairmaster. Yeah, I think William was uh, doing a little high stepping there. He might have caught the ball. I, I'd say we put we give this baby a check. Stairmaster is an industrial yeah. size stairmaster. Harmon got the ball. Their weakness against the run we want to play, baby. really changed when the what? Fridge arrived. He blew out his jersey. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Well, you might have sneezed and blew out his jersey there. <laughs> Third and ten, and Bono guns one to the far side, and it is caught there by Nate Singleton. Oh, there, that's pretty. First down. To the 18-yard line, it was 7.25 remaining in the fourth. And Bono has some heat on that ball. Deep out for the first down. Good shot of it here. That's Eric Allen, 21, on the coverage. And a good plant there by Singleton. The ball on the way just as he planted that foot. Boy, just that subtle break to the inside, that half a step move. Faking the post pattern and then breaking back to the outside. Nice work that time by Singleton. First down from the 18. Next to Carter again. For a pickup of two to the 16-yard line. Well, on we go to Kansas City. The playoffs begin Saturday. Chiefs against the Steelers at Arrowhead. Then Green Bay, Detroit. Other games on Sunday, Minnesota and the Giants, and 
the Raiders against the Broncos. We're not used to doing football games without football games in between the games we do. We're doing the last game of this weekend and the first game of next weekend. And how about daytime games? 